The 600's underway. Literally one lap, Martin Trix Jr. both ends of the racetrack all the way up to the wall, went three wide, gained a couple spots, three and four, didn't quite make the pass, but they've got confidence to use the whole Rock racetrack beer. this early. Kyle Busch and Green moving up on the inside. He's to fifth place. Uh, they're double wide with Ryan Blaney and Brad Kozlowski just in front of him. William Byron just became the first driver to lead 600 laps during this season. Now 14 laps complete, new leader Denny Hamlin. Here's the pass for the lead. From our Goodyear aerial coverage, Goodyear powering the race from green to checkered flag and every mile in between. Goodyear, more driven. That was only a matter of time. You saw the runs, he run him down in pretty quick time there, Tony. Got on him, tried him on the bottom, lost his nose a couple times, finally got to his outside with a big run off of four. The rest is history. Second on Ryan Blaney. This bell is fast, really fast, Tony. All them Gibbs cars. Telling a good good weekend to be in a, in a Gibbs car. Toyotas are extremely fast. I'm impressed with Blaney, though, hanging strong right there in that Ford Mustang. Yeah, we saw Denny and Martin Truex get up to the point pretty quick there, and, and we saw Bell come into the picture. Christopher's been very methodical about Ooh. how he's worked his way up. Alex Bowman almost Whoa. had Ryan Priest in his door right there. Well, let me tell you. Makes his presence known up front. He went from sixth to first in just 10 laps. Sit, Tony. He gets it for now, for sure. I mean, he's he was strong in the first segment there before we had the competition caution. He didn't show anything spectacular, but he's had good speed, good pace, and he's kept good track position. For Bell, you watch what he did right there. He goes in on the top, and it looks like he just kind of slows down a little bit extra, but it gives the front end time to cut, start down the hill, and he can get in the gas very, very early, and you see the drive it gave him off. The other thing I see is just like Regan told us about that 12 car started to wiggle that tail on the outside of him getting loose. Just see him get loose there in turn two and went once it started and never stopped. Couldn't catch it. From Joey Logano's view. Low down the back. Seven time champion Jimmy Johnson goes around at Charlotte. Keep it on the bottom, but if you can come off the corner door to door, you might open the door for this bell. Look at the momentum. Christopher Bell's not got to block him now. Last lap, stage one. Blaney's going to be committed to the bottom. He doesn't have an option right now. And if, now he can't get up. Lap car just ahead. Todd Gilliland drops to the bottom. Slow tires, momentum cross a over, bit. Cross, 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 Whoa, that was so close. Byron nice hangs on for the stage. His seventh stage win of the season. Most of all drivers and his first at Charlotte. Well, wasn't too far behind him. He's going to go by him. There he goes. And not by a little, but by a lot. Sure did. So that should be the lead when we cycle through. Chase Elliott, Corey LaJoy has yet to pit, Harrison Burton, Chase Briscoe have yet to make their stops. Bush gets tagged Locking gets down by in Suarez. He got into Keselowski on that outside. Washed up right at the last come minute. Back, I was up. just fixing to say that group of cars right there were really getting after it. Kyle Bush is around backwards, unbelievable. Still going backwards, Tony. Kyle was seventh at the time, and in a pretty tight pack of cars there. <laughs> what is he doing? He might back he's, what, what he's doing, and he's doing a great job at it, but so why get, is he doing it? Get caught up. Got to spin around and get caught up. You're going to need to get caught up to go a lap down Find here. Find a flat spot, so you don't. Well, his tires are all up, so I... I... 
There he there goes. Go. Wow. So he wants to try to stay on the lead lap here. Uh, get and get to pit road. Now here's a look at it. It's going to be behind these cars. Looks like it got loose. Starts chasing it up the racetrack. Gets in the side of Keselowski. Make note, Keselowski hit that outside wall pretty hard as well. That whole group right there, that was kind of that back half of the top five that stayed out and the new tires coming on. See Brad smoked the wall on the outside as well. Really lucky everybody missed him, Tony. Run straight away, hard in the wall goes Hamlin. Chase and Elliott. Chase Elliott. Hard impact for Danny Hamlin. That was a savage crash right at the start finish line. Seventh caution flag. Lap 186. And the window net is down as the AMR safety crew quickly on the scene, dropping the window net. Uh, as we saw yesterday in the Indy 500, raising the visor. That's their driver's signal to the safety crew that the driver's okay. Hamlin dropped the net. He is all right. That's big time impact there. Last year's winner, the Coke 600. Left of your screen. The inside of Chase gets loose. You see him lift out of the gas and flames. Crowded Chase got into him. They saw Ooh. some retaliation Man. there. Or did Keslowski get into the left rear corner of Elliott there? I As saw everybody Elliott. Tried to you check see up. Elliott lose his nose and lift out of the gas. Flames come out of the pipes. Yep. Chase it up. Squeeze Chase into the wall. And I think uh, the rest is self-explanatory. You never know, no, as hard as he hit, you know, you start bending them toe links and things like that, to throw these cars around. Bell still 3.8 seconds off the lead. Oh, oh no! Now. Bell! Spins without contact, and we're under caution. Can you believe the way this day has gone? <laughs> no. I if can't. I didn't watch this race from a year ago, no, I would say no, but this is exactly the way that race happened a year ago. Just gets out from underneath him. So he was fifth, goes for a long slide through the Roval chicane, and then gets it right in. Wow. Something he had been doing before that we saw earlier in the race, he'd run into turn three all the way up on the wall and about halfway through the corner, he'd start bringing it down about a half a car length. And I didn't see him do it that time. I don't know if he had been working up higher the last half of the corner. Or yeah, what? definitely diamonding off of the center before. But the other thing you think about of the 600 and as the race progresses, the rubber down that you spoke of earlier, Tony, you know, usually it gets freer as you go in through the night, the transition that we talk about. I think some of these cars that we're leading early are transitioning loose. And the gap continues to grow. William Byron doing everything he can. Martin Truex closing slightly on Byron for second. Dave Blaney's only NASCAR win came here in the Xfinity Series in 2006. One of the nicest young men in the sport. And a fellow who at just 29 is already one of the sport's big stars. Everybody was wondering not if he would win again, but when. I think it's a important lap right here, Tony. Get this thing around to that white flag. Make it official. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. You're so right, Mike. Good kid. Good family. 
hasn't been able to close the deal. Been 59 races since he's last vis visited Victory Lane. Such a fast race car driver. So and capable and finally getting it done right here. Bring yep. it around here, boy. And Byron closing on this final lap to within eight tenths of a second. But off turn number Hell four, yeah. the Coca-Cola 600 belongs to Ryan Blaney. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.